Hello again. Well, this one is about conquering some fears. Um, through life, you're going to face things that you don't want to do. Trust me, you're going to come across things. At school, school's easy life. It's easy. You've got your friends. You know, you're close to the community, you know, you know what, you know, you're going to meet the next, when you go next day, you know, that it's the same people and you get to meet your friends, etc. But when you leave school, things do go different. You, the amount of friends you've got, you lose 90% of them because they go off and do their own things, jobs or relationships and marriage and go away, you know, <laughs> move away. Um, the biggest fear I faced was my family slowly moving away, slowly, you know, mum going to Scotland, my aunt going to Ireland, my grandparents passing away, my dad moving to the countryside. And it come from being the whole family there to none, <laughs> nearly, almost none. Um, so the fear I had there was feeling like I, I was lost, I was feeling a bit lost. But I had my friends, still had some of my school friends, so that was that was good enough. I left school in 1985. 1985, that's many, many years ago. Blooming But some of the fears I faced, um, as in not fears, as in sort of major, major. I mean, I'm still scared of heights. I haven't conquered that fear. I can't do ladders. I tried. I can't conquer that fear. The fears mainly of loneliness and one fear in exact. When I was a volunteer youth worker, we went on an out of bounds weekend. You know, one of the things where you team build up to work together, build a raft to float of water and drop an egg out a window and not make it crack. Yeah, you know, you've got these things like that. But the biggest fear that weekend was going caving. Um, that actually petrified me, totally petrified me. Um, thinking about it, going there. Uh, it wasn't the caving where you have to crawl down. It was, everything was like walking up right, you didn't have to crawl anywhere. Um, but as soon as I went down there, as soon as I got down there, come back out again, I wanted to go straight back in. I loved it, I absolutely loved it. That's one of the fears I faced. The other fear is homelessness or oh, an evicted. That is a scary, scary thing. A scary part of my life that was. And moving away from my hometown Stafford, that was scary as well. Because I lived in Stafford for 38 years of my life, you know. And leaving it was just, so it was very, you know, all the comforts everywhere to somewhere completely new. That was a big fear. But it's turned out good in the end. It's turned out better than I thought it would be. So yeah, sometimes facing things in life you have to do to progress. I call it the next chapter of your life. You have to, these things you just gotta do um, within reason. As long as it's not breaking the law, kind of thing, you know, you don't want to do something stupid, do you? You know, the, the next fear in my life is moving out and get my own place again and start from scratch again. Uh, that's my next chapter, which is very scary to think about because a lot's changed in 10 years in this world. Yeah, so yeah, that's just a little bit more about me. So, until next time. Don't forget to subscribe, like, tap the notification bell. Okay, so until next time, do a little bit.